Holy shit, people, I'm still using this fucking Canon camera. What the hell's the matter with me, eh? Well, I can tell you one thing, lots. But, um, any hoozle. It's freaking early in the morning. Got up, had a shower. But for some reason, it's so fucking cold in the house right now. It's fine upstairs, just you come downstairs and it's right dicked. Probably because the house was built in 1904 and just right cocked. What the fuck is this for? Oh, I could use this. Nice. I don't know which one of you assholes found it, but it's mine now. Anyway, chatting with T-Man's go-karts last night on uh, Skype. No, not on Skype, on Google Hangout, because Skype wouldn't work. It wouldn't fucking talk to my microphone. Fucking love having technical difficulties. <laughs> but uh, we're chatting and stuff, and then he shows me, he's like, he's like, have you been wondering why you're getting subscribers, but you're not getting more views? And I said, well, you know, some people, they, they don't really watch the vlogs. They might have crawled across the uh, channel because they're looking for a video editing tutorial, and it just so happened it was on vlogging life and not northern tech. So they saw it, they liked it, and they subscribed. But because I don't put out that kind of content on that channel, they never watched anything else. And he's like, no, it's even worse why they don't. And I'm like, oh, okay, and he shows me. And uh, literally, if you've been wondering why you have all these subscribers, but you're not getting any views, it's because YouTube didn't fuck up the subs box. They actually fucked up the sub button now. Nice one, YouTube, you fucking idiots. Oh, friggin' rice, right, that moment when you're watching a movie on an Acer monitor, and on the movie, there's the exact same fucking Acer monitor. Can, can, can you see it? Look. Right there. Same. Me movie, same. Fuck yeah. Just goes to show that I'm watching a movie from like fucking 2002. Okay, so this, this is what I want to show you. Okay, you got the subscribe button here, right? So this is somebody called Mini Drag Bike. Whatever. Um, all their fucking videos are definitely not drag bike material. But anyway. Okay, so you come over here and you click on subscribe, and then it farts out, right? Now you see subscribe. A lot of people will be like, cool, and they'll run away. But what I was uh, shown last night was, if you click on this gear, it farts out this. Now if you see, send me updates and send a show only uploads in feed. Notice how none of these are checked? You know what that means? That means I just subscribed to this guy's channel, but I don't want to see his content. Does that make sense? Why would that even be a feature? Does that even fucking... I want to subscribe to you, but I don't want to see any new shit that you fart out because I am not interested. But I want to subscribe to you. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't make a lick of fucking sense on why that is even an option. Like, I can understand with Facebook. Like, there's a bunch of people on Facebook who are vague bookers. You know? They're like dropping the, woe is me, or fuck my life, or oh, I hate when this shit happens. And they expect their, oh my god, what's going on, Clarissa? Talk me, PM me, bae. Bae, B-A-E, what the f- You know what, I'm gonna stop there. But, you know, I can understand that feature on Facebook because I use it all the time. I'll just unfollow vague bookers and that way there, I'm still, I'm still subscribed, no, I'm still friended with them. I just can't see what they're writing. So my sarcastic bitch mode sen tends to stay a little lower and I might not post something as a comment that could be taken as a troll comment because uh yeah yeah i just i, I fucking hate people who are attention seeking hookers i can't deal with attention seeking hookers they're fucking stupid but anyway i don't understand that feature if any of you out there understands it there you go because there was actually a channel i subscribed to and i already forgot which one it was um it was a mini bike drag racing it wasn't that one i just showed you these guys are fucking hilarious. Um, I subscribed to them and I wasn't getting any videos. Detroit Hood TV is the name of it. Detroit Hood TV. And literally all it is is fucking mini bikes. Like, I love mini bikes. Like, these guys got doodle bugs and shit. But I subscribed to it and, like, there's been two videos up since I subscribed and I never watched them. Like, like, 15 hours ago, mini part 5 of 6, and then 16 hours ago, mini fun in France, and it's like one day ago, I saw the one day ago, The Coroner versus Treeman and The Beast, but it's like, I haven't seen any of these other movies because of those fucking settings. So now I'm like, going through all my subs and manually putting those check marks in, and that's something else you can do too. Let me show you. Alright, if you click here on subscriptions, it opens up. A page like this. Now this is what's dicked. All these here I was subscribed to before everything happened, so theoretically it doesn't matter, but activity is all activity. It's set to all activity. If any of these over here are not set to all activity, and I already did all mine, you gotta manually go through and fucking click on the little arrow 
and said it on each and every fucking one of these that you subscribe to. How is that dicked? So like I said, if you want to check your settings, it's just uh, subscriptions on the left hand side and then there you go. But it makes no fucking sense. I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. It is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Alrighty, well, I'm having a little problem staying awake, so I'm gonna go ahead and make another cop for you. What the fuck? Are you still in wide-angle mode? Oh, that's one thing I don't like about this Canon camera. Fucking touchscreen. Really annoying. But, uh, I'm gonna grab another coffee and, uh, really get motivated. I'm gonna have to leave shortly and head out, out again early. Got some running around to do. Things, getting things ready for when the layoff happens and things. And, uh, figuring out the ways that I can save most of my money rather than give half of it to the fucking government. So that's what I'm working on. Uh, that's what I've been run, doing this run around for. That's why like the vlogs aren't really long on these days. But there were some things I wanted to talk about. But first, I need to rock piss. So this uh, next part of the show, this goes out to anybody who creates videos and monetizes them and gets paid like I do on YouTube. Um, basically, uh, last May, I think it was, that's when Pug1 joined up with full screen. April, May, somewhere around there. And he noticed a great big drop in pay. But the thing is, a lot of people, everybody on YouTube had a drop in pay that time. What happened was, um, YouTube, back in the day, the AdSense rev split was set up 68-32. 68% went to the YouTuber. 32% went to YouTube. Well, YouTube got greedy. They wanted some more money. So they changed last, um, I'd say last May, April, May, they changed it from 68.32 to 55.45. So we get 55%, they get 45%. So now they're getting a larger cut. Now, a lot of people would say, holy fuck, that's really not fair. Well, consider it this way, guys. They got to run a business, right? They are paying a fixed rate for bandwidth. They don't get capped. They just pay a fixed rate. Let's say it's like 10 grand a month for all the data they can use. Then they got to pay for their servers to store all the footage. Because keep in mind, YouTube is a fucking digital dumping ground, right? Any arsehole with a smartphone can make a fucking YouTube account and fart up sliver films. Oh, what's a sliver film? That's when the video looks like this and there's fuck all you can do about it because Buddy held his phone upright. Isn't that awesome? So, YouTube is a digital dumping ground. And they, I think they said like every hour, there's over like 200 hours of footage uploaded to YouTube all the fucking time. There's some nonsense like that. There's even more being consumed, like people watching videos. So, with that, they gotta have somewhere to store these fucking videos, so they need, like, storage centers and shit. That costs money, so I can understand them doing that. But what I don't like is they did it with complete transparency and didn't notify anybody. Like, they could have fucking sent out a creator's email saying, Listen, guys, due to the cost of running this business, there will be a change to the partner, uh, the, the partner fucking rev share, and this is what we're doing. But they never notified us, and then... All around that time, a lot of people were jumping onto networks, and all of a sudden they're blaming their networks for the loss of money. Like, yeah, when you join up with a network, they take a cut because they're supposed to offer you a bunch of benefits. You know, there's some fucking greasy networks out there that are ran by some guy in his friggin' basement, and um, they're not doing anything. No promotions, no nothing, not offering you any benefits. They're just taking the a chunk of your money, and some of those ones in the basements, they're like on a 60-40 uh, split. So, that's even worse. And that, that's 60-40 after YouTube's 55-45 split, you know? Like, with full screen, it's not too bad. They will be generous and go as high as 80% is yours, 20% is theirs, but they also offer a lot of fucking shit. And other ways to make money, too, which is nice. You know, they got their partner programs and all that for uh, the guerrilla campaigns if you want to be an ad slut and start fucking advertising for other people and whoring out channels and, you know, all that shit. Plus, they have their uh, affiliate programs. they got a whole slew of affiliate programs you can jump on board with and you can, you know, if it's a product you like, you can become an affiliate and tell people about it and, you know, if they like the product and buy it and buy it through your code, you make money that way. Plus, they have their affiliate program, a Spreadshirt, which my Spreadshirt account is not set up through them because I've had that when I was back with Red Light Broadcasting. So, only way to get the affiliate program from them to work with Spreadshirt is I'd have to delete my storefront and recreate it. And I couldn't be bothered because I, really, I don't make money off the shirts anyway, so who the fuck cares? 
and I don't really buy much off of Spreadshirt, so who the fuck cares? But, um, yeah, so when they did that, that caused one problem. Now, the other problem is, and this is out of YouTube's hands, is the way media can be consumed. That's right. The way media can be consumed. Nowadays, anybody with an iPad, iPhone, fucking Android phone, smart TV, dumb TV with a computer, no, like a dumb TV with one of those Android computers, you know what I mean? Anything that's not a PC or a Macintosh, pretty much everything can play fucking YouTube now. And the problem is, is on all platforms, but PC, Android, I can't remember, I think that's it, PC and Android, um, adverts are either A, not played, or B, we don't generate revenue from them. They go straight to uh, YouTube's pocket. You know, they, they make the bank off of those mobile views or the non-monetizable views. They're mo non-monetizable for us, but they are for YouTube. Greasy fucking greasy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's caused a big drop in revenue because not a lot of people are using their PlayStation 3s or their fucking smart TVs or sitting on the shitter with their iPads watching the shows and there's no money being generated. Now, that also caused a great decline and there's unfortunately no way around it. Now, on the PCs, you know, you can get those things like ad blockers and some people will use them on YouTube to block out the ads and on some videos, you kind of sort of have to because the fucking Ursul has like an advert every five minutes in on a three-hour fucking video. And what the hell are you doing? What? Skippers. What? what are we doing? I'm right fucking here. Hey. Get down. No, I'm fine. Jesus. Sorry. What, you didn't fucking see me pacing around? No, not really. I tell you, sometimes that cat is really stupid. Yeah. But, um, no, like, a lot of people are using the ad blocker. And, for instance, I checked my analytics and... You know, in a day, let's say I get a thousand views. Well, maybe, like back in the day, it was, you got a thousand views, maybe 550 of those are monetized. Decent. Nowadays, you get a thousand views, maybe 200 of those are monetized. Maybe. So, but that's out of YouTube's hands. Sorta. Because you have websites like blip.com, or blip TV, sorry, and uh, Vimeo's, uh, all these other fucking sites out there that, that have video on them, all have a pop-up that jumps up on the screen to say, disable your ad blocker, or you can't watch my fucking content type thing. YouTube could totally pull that off. If, they, if these other operations did it, no fucking reason why YouTube can't. But it's a matter of will they and do they give a shit. So that's what we're waiting to see, uh, I always have my ad blocker on YouTube turned off, like I said, unless it's a video where it's like a how-to video, buddy has like 72 fucking ads in it and it's three hours long, then I just can't be bothered. Like, I'm not going to watch a full-length fucking movie with commercials in it just to figure shit out. And, um, like, that's why I, ha for my videos, I have just the, the, the first pre-roll ad and then that's it. Maybe there's like a little poppy-uppy ad in the bottom. But I won't go balls deep and put a fucking ad every every seven minutes because, Jesus Christ, that's just going to piss everybody off and make them frig off and things. And I don't need that. Like, I only have 7,300 of you guys out there. And I think maybe a, a thousand of you guys watch. That's a seven to one ratio. That's pretty fucking good, I, th I think so. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for that, eh? Like, that's what's going on. So if YouTube were to put something in to stop ad blocker from working... That resolved the problem, and uh, that's that's on their end to do. But views from TVs and stuff that'll never generate revenue unless something changes with the with the YouTube API, and then it does, and then then the views will just generate more revenue, right? But that's why YouTube is not a sustainable business because those arseholes over there at Google and YouTube like to fuck with things and not notify anybody. And it's like like I was saying with the subscriber button, they broke the fucking subscribe button. Yeah, congratulations, uh, you got a million subscribers, but only 10 of them watch your shit because the other ones aren't getting the view in the videos to their fucking inbox. Like, come on, that's a major fuck up. But anyway, people, I'm going to leave that at this. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. YouTube will forever be fucked. We all know that, so whatever. I'll keep uploading to it if you guys keep watching it. So thanks for watching my videos, guys. Though you guys watching the videos, I wouldn't have no any reason to make them. Because it's definitely not for the money, because fuck's sakes. 
you make piss. That's why I'm with full screen. At least they pay out at 50 bucks. <laughs> anyway, people, thanks for watching my shit. Uh, leave a comment. Could be used in a commenting on comment episode. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, all that nonsense. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.